Hello, my name is Sarah Larkin, and this video is going to look at subtraction on the Cranmer Abacus using the rule of zero and the counting method. Let's begin with when you would want to use the rule of zero, and this is going to happen whenever you need to subtract from a column, but there are no beads against the counting bar, so there's no beads that you can subtract. When this happens, you would look in the left column and check to see, is there a bead there that I can subtract? If there is, I'm going to pull that away with my left index finger while returning all nine beads in the ones column towards the counting bar simultaneously. Once again, think about what happens and why that is. If I'm going from 10 and subtracting one, I have to go from 10 to 9. So I'm going to take away the 10 and return the 9. Notice that I took away the 10 with my left index finger. I returned the 9 with my right index finger and thumb. Let's look at some examples of when you might want to use these. Uh, first example is 12 minus 9. So we'll set 12 on the abacus. Let's use good finger placement here. So my left index finger is in the tens column. My right index finger is in the ones column. I'm going to work on subtracting nine. So I'm going to bring one bead down in the ones column, two away. Now there's no more I can move away. So I'm going to go to the tens bead, three away as I return all nine in the ones column. Continue counting, four away five away, six away, seven away. Now I have to use that rule of five, eight away as I return the nine below it, and nine away. Notice I have three beads left. 12 minus nine equals three. Let's try a second example, 73 minus 18. So we'll set 73, seven tens, and three ones on the abacus. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 18. When I subtract the one ten, I'll just move one of the tens down. Now when I go to subtract the eight ones, that right index finger should be in the ones column. That left index finger should be in the tens column. Now in that ones column, I'm going to move one down, two down, three down, now there aren't any more. So I'm going to help out my left hand in the tens column, four down, as I return all nine in the ones column and keep counting. Five down, six down, seven down, eight down. Notice my answer for 73 minus 18 is 55. Let's go ahead and start the third problem, which involves a three-digit number. So we're going to set 422 up on the abacus. Now in this case, we're going to have to use the rule of zero a couple of times. Let's start with our hundreds. We don't have to subtract any hundreds because we're going to subtract 36. So let's subtract the three tens to do that. My right index finger should be in the tens column. My left index finger should be in the hundreds column. So I'm going to bring one bead down, two beads down in that tens column. There aren't any more left, so I'm going to help out in the hundreds column. Third bead away, return all nine in the tens column. And that should be my three tens. Now I'm going to go over and put my right index finger in the ones column to subtract one. That left index finger should be just to the left of that in the tens column. And we're going to subtract our six ones. So one down in the ones column, two down. There aren't any more by the separation bar. So I'm going to help out with my left index finger in the tens column three down as I return all nine in the ones, continue counting, four down, five down, 
six down. Notice my answer for 422 minus 36 is 386. One more sample problem. 804 minus 487. I'm going to set eight hundreds, no tens, and four ones. Again, this is going to have the rule of zero a couple of times in it. First, I'm going to begin by subtracting my four hundreds. When I do that, my right index finger should be in the hundreds. My left index finger should be in the thousands, just to the left of it. So I'm going to subtract four hundreds. In the hundreds column, one away, two away, three away. To do that fourth one, I'm going to have to use the rule of five, bringing the five feet up and returning the four below it. Now I'm going to subtract my tens. In my tens column, my right index finger should be in the tens column, my left index finger just to the left in the hundreds column. I need to subtract eight tens, but notice right away there aren't any tens. So I'm going to help out with my left index finger in the hundreds column, one down as I return all of the beads in the tens column and continue counting in that column. Two down, three down, four down, five down. There aren't any more to move down, so I'm going to go up to that five bead. Six away as I return the four below it. Continue counting. Seven down, eight down. Now to do my ones, my right index finger should be in the ones column. My left index finger in the tens column. Let's count seven ones that we're subtracting. So in the ones column, one down, two down, three down, four down. There's no more in the ones, so I'm going to help out in the tens with my left index finger. And I'm going to say five down as I return all nine in the ones column. Continue counting, six down, seven down. Notice my answer of 317. 804 minus 487 is 317. In our next video, we will look at the rule of 50 and the rule of double zero.